Hi scrapbookers, it's Katie Scott and it's been like 10 years since I made a scrapbooking um, video and so welcome back and uh, I went on a big long road trip and I think it's been about a month since I made any scrapbook pages. So the first thing I'm going to do is a sketch and that I found in the Get It Scrapped library and it's a sketch by Lisa Dickinson, although looking at this you probably can't tell. But what we're going to do is we're going to have three photos that are going to be two and a half by three inches. And then we're going to have our text over here, a title here, and then a burst. And so I was thinking I really want to, um, to scrapbook my road trip that I just went on, but I don't have any photos. So what I thought I would do is some of the brochures I got from the trip. I'm going to use those um, both for my pictures and for this burst effect down here. Um, and the other thing I started to think about was, well, how am I going to make all these so they look as nice as Lisa's? Because um, all of the burst elements. And so I, look, I went to my silhouette and I found a burst and I actually already owned it. it this one is actually, let me tell you who it's by. It is, it's called Sunburst Matte Stencil, and it's by Amanda McGee. And I found that in the Silhouette store, so this is what it's gonna look like. And so my burst and, and Lisa's burst are gonna be a little bit different because her burst really, it was like the point of view that all of these went from, would have been right in the center, but mine is going to be off to the side. So that's just fine and let's see so I think what I'm gonna need to do I'm just gonna set this aside and I, I also thought that I could probably like repurpose these and use them again we'll see if I do that or not <laughs> or I could just throw them away um, which is okay too okay so here's the burst on the square let's just trim that down and then what I want to do is use all of those negative spaces and pin the, um, the items behind it. So I kind of thought that I would just cut this off here so the bursts are going to go this way. And then my photos will go up here. And, and then I thought the way that I would do that is I would just kind of lay these over the brochures to to find the different elements. So there's going to be a cutoff probably somewhere around here and I do think that I may need a background piece. So just for, that doesn't help you see it very well, but it's just white on white and that background may not be staying. Let's just see if we can start to do this so I can show you what I'm thinking and then we'll go from there. Yeah. So what I want to look at is within the little area here, I want it to be kind of obvious what's going on. So it might not be like from the side, you know, <laughs> yeah, I'm not making myself clear. I kind of am, but it could be um, something more off to the side. Um, not sure I want to use that one. Let's find another picture that's going to be nice and long like that. And I think that's going to be my challenge. Is that it's going to probably be kind of hard to find photos that are going to really line up. But let's take a stab at it anyways. Okay. So you could do this. She did in her... Um, layout she's used pattern paper which is a great idea so here's Portland now I didn't go to Portland but some of these photos are kind of generic enough yeah it this is more challenging than I thought it would be um, and hmm. <laughs> I think what I'm gonna do is I am going to um, stop the tape, you know, stop the recording, and then I will um, come back to it so that you're not watching this whole big long process. But I did want to just show you 
one successful page. I'm not <laughs> sure if I'm able to get there. Um, so I need a big long photo. Huh. <laughs> this is harder than it looks. Okay, here's one about Maine. Uh, that kind of works like this. I don't know. I'm not loving it yet. Let's find a different one. Okay, there's a lighthouse. That may work. It's kind of too long. So can I do it this way? No. And I'm wondering, maybe I should change the orientation so that it's going this way and then have the photos. So like her layout was um, going this way. Maybe I should just turn it so it's, you know, it might be easier to get the orientations of the photos. Let's try that. Let us try that. So sometimes it's, it's good to um, kind of investigate a little bit. I don't know if investigate is the right word. <laughs> okay, so here's summertime, mid-coast Maine. Okay. Hmm. Okay, this would show like the the dock, but I don't really hmm. I'm still yeah. Not interesting yet. Alright, somebody somebody gave me a comment and said, Stop saying that you're not interesting. So thank you. If you think that I'm interesting. I appreciate that. Okay. <sighs> I'll tell you, I've been trying to get back into scrapbooking since I got back. It's Friday, and I got back on Saturday or Sunday, I can't remember. But I haven't, like, I've thought about doing scrapbooking, but I just haven't, I just haven't been able to get into it. I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> I've just been, like, I'm not that motivated. I'm not sure why. Because I do have a lot of really great photos from the trip that I'm excited about. Um, okay, so this does work here. Okay, see that? So let's use that photo. And so the way that I'm going to do that is I will... Well, I guess I'll have the little photo credit of the guy in there. I don't need it. I mean, I don't really need it. Huh. Um, kind of like the way that looks though with the let's do it right there. And so what I want to do then is to tape this and I'm not against using regular tape. Um, I know some people especially scrapbookers really want to be super archival about everything and I respect that but I don't think that it's totally necessary every time um, so I'm gonna just do it like this way so now that's going to be like clunked down there what I want to happen is I want there to be a gap <laughs> Someone also left a comment recently and they were like, you know those those videos that where they speed it up? They're not so bad. And I totally understand why <laughs> you're right. And I don't mean to um to kind of like poo-poo them. Uh, that's not my intention at all. Um, because I love those videos too. And I'll tell you, um, with two peas in a bucket. Closing, I think we're all going to miss if they take away the videos that they had uploaded that year where they were doing the really great organized videos. Um, sorry, this isn't even in the frame, is it? 
<laughs> where they were doing those nice professional videos, unlike this one, um, that we're going to miss those if they're gone. So they had a really, you know, a really amazing run, and it was sad to see that they were closing. But honestly, I I wasn't my, like, I... I did go to the forums there sometimes, but it wasn't my favorite place to go. I really felt like, um, you know, when you went there, you really were kind of, it did amp you up to want to buy product, which was the purpose. Um, whereas I would rather not get amped up to do that because I can get, you know, <laughs> that will happen all on its own. Um, I don't need anybody to help me get excited about buying new things in the scrapbooking kind of way. But, um, yeah, so, but they did have a lot of good resources, and I will miss them. Um, anyway, so here's the, what I have in mind for all of these different um, bursts. And then my line is going to go this way, and then I'm going to choose three photos, probably up here. So that's, um, that's what I'm thinking. I'm going to go ahead and choose the rest of these, and then I will pick it back up with you. Okay, so you don't have to sit through all of that. Hey, scrapbookers. So I'm back, and I am um, using this sketch by Lisa Dickinson. She didn't draw that. I did. But that's basically her sketch. Um, and I'm turning it on its side and using brochures um, from a recent trip to fill in the gaps and I've used um, a silhouette cut file called Sunburst and it took me a ridiculously long amount of time and I just taped everything on the back and I just have to say it took me a, an insanely long amount of time. So the pieces that are missing right now are this right here and I have a knock at my door. <laughs> That's my other challenge. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I am back, and my girl has a French braid. Okay, so <laughs> this is the section that I'm worried about right now, and these are the crazy amounts of um, brochures that I got from Maine, or most of them are from Maine, and most of them are not working for the space that I have because um, it's really just a, these have been more challenge, This these spaces to work with have been more challenging than I thought. Um, did I let that stop me? No. <laughs> Kept on going. But it hasn't been um, super duper easy. Um, so I've thought about a lot of things. One thing I think that I, I, I thought about putting a map in there and I haven't really found a map that I thought was very pretty. Um, I'm not sure why. Um, there, there used to be maps in brochures. And it seems like maybe there's not as many, like, actual maps. I, I found a lot. Well, hey, there's a map. <laughs> but that's kind of, like, rare. What I was looking for is maybe a map of all of Maine. But we kind of get the diagonal going the wrong way for the purpose of this page. Um, that could work, but I'm not. It, it's kind of odd. I don't. I don't love it. <laughs> I gotta say. Let's see if I can find another map in here because I think a map would work well. Um, yeah, I don't really see one. Um, and then the other thought I had was putting the title in there. What a mouse, right? <laughs> and doing it something like this, like Guide of Maine. And I sort of like that, but I'm not... I don't like how you can see the little Facebooky icon. And I would like to line that up. I guess it's okay. Um, you know what? Let's just do that. Let's do it. Because this has been <laughs> way longer of a project than, 
And it might just be that I um, it's because I'm just getting back into scrapbooking after having like a month off. And so I think that the more you practice something, you know, the better you're going to be at doing it. So we'll chalk it up to that. <laughs> and okay, so let's just get this puppy done. <laughs> um, I really do love scrapbooking, but I don't love it when I'm, I feel like I'm not, um, when it's not clicking, when it doesn't feel like a little bit easier than what it's feeling like today for me. And so I've just been, what I've been doing to just tack these down is I turn it over and then just tape the middle and then I cut and then tape. Fascinating, huh? <laughs> uh, I know. It's not that fascinating. But this is just the, the long-winded process of how I've been doing it. Um, just another plug bear for digital scrapbooking because in digital scrapbooking, I think if you did this, you would choose your template and then um, then you could just kind of drag and drop the images and resize them and everything else into the spaces and I think it would be so much easier <laughs> but since I'm not going digital today and I have all these brochures we're keeping it paper okay and then the other thing that's been um, kind of slowing me down is I was <coughs> pardon me I was listening to podcasts about and trying this like being vegan for 30 days and not, I was really hoping for some tips on what to eat and they're all like animal rights blah, 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 which is I get it um, but it's not the that's not really why I'm trying the vegan thing on for size um, and I have to kind of think about what I think about that because do I want to kill animals myself? No, definitely not. Do I feel guilty for eating animals? I gotta say, not really. I, I mean, like, especially not lobster rolls. <laughs> Those are delicious. Um, yeah, I'm not probably the poster child for veganism. But, um, yeah, most of the podcasts were really about um, animal rights or, or not eating animals, and I just... I don't know, it wasn't really my, <laughs> wasn't my thing, so it kept, kind of like kept making me think about that and whether I really was, like, I don't know. I mean, I, I can sort of see it because do I want to kill an animal? No. Do I, you know, my dad was a hunter. Am I a hunter? No. Um, but do I enjoy a tasty hamburger? Yes, I do. Um, so, and do I feel guilty about killing the cow? A little bit. But not enough to make me not eat beef. <laughs> Which is probably not the answer the vegans were looking for. But, um, yeah, again, I'm just kind of doing it as an experiment in, um, maybe just a healthier way to live at this point. Maybe I'll come, I'll get vegan guilt in the future, I don't know. Okay, so then, um, <laughs> sorry, then we're gonna do like a panel here. And I don't mind this actually, this dark panel. Um, but it's just gonna be a little bit, a little bit smaller. And so let me see if I can trim that down a little bit. Oh, my paper cutter is all the way over here. That's the other thing I think about getting back into scrapbooking after you've been away from it for a while is, oh, you don't remember where all the stuff is. <laughs> and it's just, yeah, it's, it's, um, just feels kind of challenging today, but it's okay. I think those times when you're having those times and you're ready to get back to work, um, at scrapbooking, then it's really a good thing to just go forward. 
So, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim this up, and then I think I'm going to back this whole layout with another, um, I don't know if I want to use that dark color. It may be yellow instead. Um, but not exactly that same yellow. Let's just see if I get something handy. A map would be cool too. Let me see if I've got a map. Uh, yeah, I really gotta tell ya, I just, um, here's a map looking thing. It does the color, the color doesn't seem to be completely working, but it's not bad. Let's see if I can cut it like right here, I guess. Let me try that. I think I've changed my mind yet again. Um, yeah, I'm, I'll cut it there. <laughs> we will go. We will keep moving forward. And the reason I, I like this scrap of paper is that um, it is a map, so I like that idea. But then I also, um, because there's so much blue, I think that the orange will be a nice contrast to all the blue that comes naturally in the water. Um, yes, that works. And then I'm almost thinking, like, I liked that thought of having a darker underlayer or something darker there but maybe that ought to go like way behind the whole thing so I'm picking a wood grain and then this would go like behind the whole bit I like the look of that um, what I don't like is that you can't see much of it so what I'm gonna do I think is trim this down a little bit but not a lot. So let me go ahead and do that. And I'm going to pause and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I am going to sacrifice this huge, lovely piece of weathered wood looking paper by October afternoon because I just got this at huge sale at Whimsadoodle, which is my local scrapbook store. And I really like that it looks like weathered wood, which reminds me of walking on docks. And the way that the main sea air, you know, ages things. So I like that. I'm going to leave it. And then this is going to go over the top. And... Oh, you know, I think I'm going to do stitching. I, well, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just do stitching on this part of it. So I'm lining it up all the way to the edge. And, yeah, i got to tell you that getting back into scrapbooking after you've been away for it, from it for a month, even if you've been doing it for years and years, like I have, it's still a challenge. It still is. <laughs> yes, it is. Don't let anybody tell you any different. Like, oh, I always have mojo. Your people. I, I heard someone say that recently. I'm like, mm, okay, maybe you do. But <laughs> go away for a month and get back to me on if you're as fast as when you're doing it every single day. And I think it's like with any practice, you know, if you're doing it every day, you're gonna be faster and better than if you're not. So that's my opinion on that. Okay, so now I'm gonna, I am gonna stitch just around this, and then we're gonna think about um, placing the photos and journaling and embellishing and all those fun things. But I just wanna have just a stitch around this block and I'm gonna pause so you don't have to sit through that noise. Hold on. Okay, so I'm back and I just stitched and I'm not very happy with the way that it came out. The tension on my uh, machine is off and I seem to remember I was having that issue before I left. It's still working, but it's not working well and I don't know why. Ugh annoying 
Um, but it could be worse. Okay, so here we go. Now, what I'm doing a little bit differently is that um, in Lisa's layout, she's got that border line, which is different than the rest of this. So I almost want to wrap something around the whole layout, and that might be, uh, let's see, a ribbon, or it could be um, just a strip of something. I like the idea of a ribbon. Let's see what, what I can come up with. Um, Okay, I don't have anything immediately handy, but I have a whole bin of ribbon over here across the room. I'm going to pull that down and see what's inside. Hopefully we can find some kind of nautical ribbon. Because when I was growing up, I think that would work well. This one here, whoops, you probably couldn't see that very well. This would work well. It's a, just a gray, I don't know, taupe, pewter colored. It's very wrinkly, so I feel like I ought to um, iron that somehow if I use it. Okay, then I have, that's very mean looking or nautical, but I think it's almost too much. It's like too large and too blue, which does tie this in. It just feels like it's trying way too hard. So that's going to be a no. Um, I've got this. I sort of like that. That's a, a it's, <laughs> it doesn't have to be, um, I wouldn't have to iron it. And it's got a little detail to it. It's kind of preppy and, you know, maybe I'm thinking Massachusetts more than Maine, but it could be a little preppy up there. Here's another option. I like the idea of using a ribbon that kind of reminds me of my childhood. This one doesn't really. This one does more, but I don't, I'm not necessarily sure I want that one. Let me just look a little bit more. I like the colors of this one, but it doesn't, it's not long enough. Uh, these are from my grandma. Uh, I like that, but it, I would like a thicker ribbon. Okay, two more seconds and then we're going to say out of time. <laughs> um, yeah, and if you were my kid, you would be like, one, two, that was time. Um, I know. Let's see. It seems like I should have more options in here, but <laughs> I'm not going to use that, but it's cute. Um, Okay, well, here's one last option. This would be kind of out of the color range. I kind of like it, the green. It's a little unexpected. Um, I really liked that one. That one felt really nice and solid to me, that first one. And that one, not as much. Let me just try this one in one more time. I do like that. What do we vote? Let's go with easy. And um, do this one here. And then maybe we can incorporate these colors, that minty color, in a little bit more in the embellishments. Okay, be right back. Okay, so to adhere the ribbon, I'm just going to use some double stick tape. And if my sewing machine was working better, I might um, think about using machine stitching over the ribbon. But since it's giving me fits already, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to try to get it as straight up and down as I can. And then I'm just going to tuck these sides under and just tape them with regular tape. Hello, regular tape. Where are you? Here you are. Okay. So then the next part of this layout is going to be those three photos. And I thought a lot about this. And I was thinking that I would use photos from 
the brochures. And that's definitely a possibility, maybe for two of the three of them. But then I also thought, like, I should include a photo of either just me and my daughter, because we just took that trip, that road trip, or me, or just me, or me and the two kids. And the reason I kind of exclude my husband from that is that, well, he'll begrudgingly go to Maine. <laughs> he's not really into it, you know, he's, um, he doesn't have like the burning desire to go, or even the desire to go. Um, he would rather, he's not really as excited about traveling as I am. And he's not as excited about me and as me and the kids. Because I think if the kids and I could decide, we might just move back to Maine. <laughs> um, but my husband has made it clear, like, oh, heck no. He would never do that. So um, the photo option. So the three photos, if it were going this way, would be like this. So I'm thinking they've got to be kind of small. And I'm also thinking maybe I could switch it up a little. Now, I got some photos back recently from a road trip that the, t the kids and I took um, over spring break. So this was the second road trip I've done this year. Um, but I'm thinking it might be fun. So there's a photo of me and the kids in the car. Ready? It doesn't fit in any way. Um, but I'm thinking that maybe I have a smaller one. And if I do, the, what I really, I don't, the, I guess the, the sentiment or the why, what is this um, page about, is I want to kind of express that I think that a, a trip up to Maine once a year or once every couple of years is kind of a mandatory for me. Like, I um, several years ago I told my husband, like, he, did, he doesn't like to ski, but I do. And I hadn't skied for 20 years. Like, so from when I was, <laughs> not, yeah, from when I was like 20 to when I was 40. Which, like, most of that time included knowing, you know, while I was with him, while we were starting our business, and I was going to law school and having babies and everything else. So it wasn't all his fault. <laughs> but um, he doesn't like skiing, and so I really do. And I told him, listen, you know, I'm getting older, and I want to go skiing every single year that I'm able. And that's, like, I'm not, it's not a discussion. I'm just telling you. That's how I feel about it, and that's, yeah, that's how I'm going to proceed. And so, um, it's really, I consider the ski trip to be a non-negotiable because someday, I, you know, when I get older, um, you know, it's possible that I won't be able to ski. You know, you don't see a ton of old people on the slopes. There's some, but not a ton. <laughs> but, um, so... Maine isn't exactly like that. You know, I don't need to go every single year. But I think, like, every couple of years, um, I probably do. And so I haven't found a picture. Darn it. <laughs> I thought I had some printed up that were a little bit smaller. But I don't see one like that. So let me look in one other place. And... Yeah, my pictures are kind of atrociously organized right now. They just aren't <laughs> the short end of that. Um, they're just not. Okay, so I'm not really finding the picture that I wanted. Grr. So I'm looking just now for maybe just a picture of me and the kids in the car. Like, you know, road trip. And I have a bunch of pictures. Oh, I did see a picture of my husband and my dad in Maine. But that's not really what I was going for on this layout. 
but it's sort of okay so it would be really cool to use this but I don't want to um, it deviates from the it deviates a lot from the sketch I like it because it's one of the reasons I feel so um, drawn to Maine is that my dad lived there and he's he passed away. Um, the other reason I kind of don't want to use this picture is that this is a film picture and there's only one of them and I'm not really willing to crop it, which I think this layout sort of needs that. Uh, but you know what? Let's do that anyways. If I can't find the other photo, let's just use that and let me just look a little bit more. Um, man, I've got a hodgepodge in this drawer. It's like... <laughs> Pictures from when I was in Greece to current pictures. Yeah, I definitely need to work on organizing my photos. Seriously. It's crazy. <laughs> it's super crazy. They're a mess. Um, okay, so I'm trying not to use that photo, but I'm kind of thinking I want to. So I'm deviating quite a bit on the sketch, and I didn't want to deviate that much. Oh, come on. But I'm really not finding a photo that's going to work. So that's going to be it. I'm going to use this. And I guess the way, because one of the things that was attractive about her photo, so I want to probably map that. Um, one of the things I liked about Lisa's photo was that she had, or her, um, <sighs> her uh, layout was that she had um, three. And so if I did it this way, I'm not really going to have three, but I could maybe make three things, like, there's that mint I was talking about, and it doesn't seem like this little radio has anything to do with anything, but it's kind of like Maine is calling me. <laughs> to go. Um, I know that's really a stretch. It's not going to be obvious to anybody except me, I think. But that's okay, I believe. Um, so I've got kind of these three. I don't want it to look like a Mickey Mouse either. Um, let's see if I can remedy that somehow. And I really don't want to put the little bread thing so it would interfere at all. And yeah, I'm having a host of issues with this. Um, darn it. So, I don't know. What do we think? Are we in now? sort of. I'm kind of rethinking this. Um, I printed off a bunch of photos before I left and they, you know, I don't think they really work. Um, hmm. That's really not the purpose there. If it were just my dad, I like the fact that he's in orange and He's in Hunter's Orange, <laughs> and it brought, draws your eye to him, but I think I'm not going to use that. So I'm going to put that back, just because it's not, it's just not speaking to me. I mean, it is and it's not. 
So I'm not going to use it. Um, I'm back in my drawer. I know. I always say don't do that, but what I really want is a picture of me and the kids. And oh, you know what? There's some old photos from me. Now these are like original photos and I'm not going to use those either. <laughs> Am I driving you crazy yet? I'm driving myself crazy. Um, yes, I am. And so I'm really not finding the photo to capture the feeling that I'm having. And the feeling is that I have this connection to the past. You know, my family came to Maine and when my family came to New Hampshire in 1706, and then after the Revolutionary War, we got a land grant um, for land in Maine. And then, so my family's probably been there, you know, 1776, 1886, 1986, like, you know, for a long time, <laughs> two or three hundred years. Um, depending on when you want to say we started living there, but so we have this connection to the past, and I guess my point is I want to keep like when I was in May in this past time, I got really emotional when I left, and it really felt like I should get back here more, like. There's something really special about Maine, and I want my kids to, to know that and to feel it like I feel it, and it really is. It's like the air is special there, and that sounds really corny, but it's true. It is true. <laughs> I mean, it was like really, I just, yeah, I had, I spent one day in Maine, and I felt like I need to come back here more. Oh. I can't find a picture. This is so frustrating. Okay, rather than moan about it, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this on my back burner and I'm going to order some photographs in wallet size from Walgreens. And <laughs> they're going to be of our actual recent trip to Maine. And yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I know. I never do stuff like that. <laughs> but I feel like I want. I've. I've I've, <laughs> there's high sunk costs into this layout. I've already spent a lot of time on it and I would like it to um, turn out, I want it to feel like, like how I'm feeling. So I need those photos from the recent trip, so I will be back after I pick those up. Okay, talk to you soon. Hey scrapbookers, so I'm back and I'm still working on this layout, or I should say I'm still procrastinating working on this layout. So I did everything this weekend. Um, we went boating, we went, um, <laughs> I learned how to do Rubik's Cube and solve it, like, and I did a bunch of family um, history research and I've just been putting off finishing this. So it needs to get in and <laughs> I'm really, I don't know, I something about a deadline so I um, so I blew my deadline <laughs> of getting this page done but I um, I'm gonna finish so what we want to do is put these three photos up here. maybe I think I'm gonna put them up here and then do a little bit of journaling down here um, I can't believe how much I've been procrastinating this I don't really know why I can't explain it um, I one of the reasons was, well, let's just go down like our, my list of excuses. Um, so one of the reasons was that um, my internet wasn't working at home. So that kind of impeded my progress. And then I didn't have, like I had photos, but I really wanted to use these photos that we just um, got on our road trip to Maine. And... So I had to get them printed, and then we had to pick them up, and so, you know, that took some time. And I just, <laughs> I just want to say, I just, I don't know, I just didn't have much gumption in the way of getting anything done. 
Okay, so these are earlier in the trip. I think that next, got four stacks of photos here. <laughs> I think the next stack is going to be the winner. The last, the next and last stack. Um, okay, yeah, here we are, I think. Nope, that's still Massachusetts. So let's see. Let's get to Maine. Well, and some of these photos are from Maine, but they're older photos of my grandmother and mostly of my grandmother. And um, I think that I do want to use an older photo too to kind of explain like we have this like pull to Maine. You know, <laughs> we really feel connected um, to that state because we've been here for a long time. And I know I'm talking for a long time and not much is happening. <laughs> I'm still looking for the photo. Oh my gosh. I really thought I printed some from Maine and I don't see any. My goodness. Oh, that's very frustrating. Um, so I could fudge a little. Why don't I have the Maine photos? Hmm. Okay. So sometimes when you get your photos back, they don't always come in order. And I really thought I had the main ones under control. Okay, this is definitely Massachusetts. And so is this. Maybe they just didn't come in yet. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so instead of... Um, this is highly frustrating. Okay, and this is Georgia and then Florida before we left. So none of this is working, <laughs> but what I can um, do is maybe just do a little sort, and so and I'll show you how what I'm gonna do. So I took a ton of photos on my road trip, and a lot of them were of my. Can you hear my family is so loud? Um, a lot of them were of the trip, like here we are climbing on rocks, but then a lot of them were. Um, photos of old things like these ones here and for some reason when I order them I can't believe my like literally I pressed record and my son starts screaming his head off <laughs> can you hear him it's just I don't even know what to say but I am finding um, photos of Maine here and and I do like this and I, so I'm going to show you I'm going to use some of these a lot of them aren't actually from me and they're from Canada where my grandmother grew up and went to college and then she met my grandfather and she moved to Maine um, but I'm going to try to pick out the main photos the photos of my grandmother and the scrapbooks oh my gosh so like these are two of the scrap I took photos of the um, covers of those photo albums. So amazing. So amazing. Like, we had scrapbookers. I cannot believe, like, seriously. He just started, like, like, the house was quiet before. It's late. I thought they were all watching a show together, and I thought um, everything was going to be great and nice and quiet. And <laughs> I turned on the record button, and he started just howling. Like, I don't even, I'm not sure why. Like, it doesn't sound like an upset howl. It's just a, who knows what it is. Okay, and then this gets into Pennsylvania. So, I'm going to put those back over here. I'm so sorry to be taking up so much time. <sighs> I, was, I was thinking that I would, you know, how I'm always talking about, like, oh, I do these in real time. I was thinking about maybe I should do some editing. Um, but I most likely won't. <laughs> okay, so here's two photos of my grandparents in like a lot of snow, and that's in Maine, but I'm not going to use those. This is a very Christmassy picture, as is this. This is possible, although it's a little bright for my taste because the green is, is a bright, bright color in this photo. This, not so much. This could work. That's um, me and my dad when I was... So I think it's my sister and my dad in the boat and then I'm over here on the shore um, searching for what do you call it 
bullfrogs. Okay, and then here's another one. You get a little bit different view. This is of this really nice land that my family used to live on up in Maine. And I think there wasn't really what I had in mind. I might use, what I want to do is crop. So this is a nice crop. This is a nice crop. Oh, she even dated it. Not exactly a scrapbook, but she did date it. That's awesome. So I used those two. And in the, um, in the diagram, there were three photos. And let's see if I can come up with a third. You know, I've got two photos from the past. And I think it might be fun to use one from this recent trip. Because what I'm trying to tell the story of with this um, page is that I went up to Maine and I just felt so connected to that state. And I really was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe we don't come here more. Okay, so here's another um, photo. It's me and my daughter. We're on the trip. Um, we're in Massachusetts, but it's going to lighthouse and we're just going to, it's going to be okay. <laughs> We're going to use it anyways, and we're going to crop these down. These photos, I think, were um, three by two and a half. Mine will try to be that same dimension, but probably will not be. So I just want to make them smaller. I actually think I might make them into squares. So let's see if I can make them into three by three squares. So let's cut off the arm, the selfie arm. Okay, that's fine. Okay, this one is maybe gonna be, maybe four by four. That's a four by four. Um, no, we're gonna trim that down a little bit more. So we're gonna trim that down to three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And I do what I want to do is I'm probably going to cover this up here, and then I'm going to use these other two photos, and I kind of like them to be a little bit smaller. So that was three by three. Let's try, I mean, three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And this is like a photograph of a photograph, so it's not, you know, you can see it's all wonky. So I do, like, trimming it is a, gr a good idea. So let's go with, I think we could do like two and a half by, we could do two and a half by three. But I kind of like the idea if they're all square. So let's just try to make that, that was two and a half by two and a half. I think it would be cute if they were all square. And then I also think it would be cute if I could kind of put them on these little things. Um, we'll see. These are um, by October afternoon, and I think they're very cute. That might actually, if I trim it a little bit more, might fit better. So let's go down to just a smidge less. So I've got two photos, and now I just need one more. And... I really like the fact that this is all in there, but I don't think it's necessary for my composition. And I've got more than one photo of that, so I'm not worried about it. So this is two and a half. And I don't want to make it less than that, I don't think. I really want to have the whole two and a half. And then by, I could maybe make it two and a half by two and a half. I really want to show off that pretty landscape. There's the, so I've got I did get that into a square too, and I liked this part because you can't see the top of the tree, but you can see the whole tree in the reflection, which is pretty cool. And so this is like you know, hearkening back to older days, that kind of a thing. You know, the pull of the past, kind of blah blah blah, leads you forward. <laughs> okay, so let's. Well, I'm thinking that I definitely want to, and I think I might just save this little bit. That's a photograph of my, 
It looks like my grand, my Nana is writing. So I'm just gonna walk that over there. Okay. And uh, I'm really, you know, I'm just not, I'm just not in my element yet. And I never, honestly, I've never really gotten completely comfortable in my new scrapbook space up here. And I hate saying that because I don't want to move back to my old space, which I was kind of thinking about. But I don't want to because the kids have been um, using that space and it's actually really cool. I think I want to make this kind of like, yeah. This I'm gonna cut, so I want it to be in that space. Let's see if I can get it a little bit smaller. So I've thrown my little square thing out the window, but the mat is gonna be square. And I get just a little bit less. We're almost there. Okay, so that will fit in this space, I do think if I rounded the corners, it would be cuter. Let me see. Yep, I have my corner rounder nice and handy. Woohoo. <laughs> I was going to say I am not quite comfortable in this space yet, but I had that handy, so that felt good. Yeah, I'm still not, um, I don't know. I should just stop complaining about it is what I think. Okay, that looks weird, but... It's done. <laughs> it's going down. Okay. So that's here. Because we do have a lot of old slides of the olden days. <laughs> we really do. Um, and so I like the fact that this is a slide. I think I want to cut this whole bit down just a little. So it's almost three by three. I'm going to cut it down to like... Two and a half, two point nine. I know that doesn't seem like a big deal, but I just made that a little bit smaller so it's going to fit on the space a little bit more. And it's not the same size as this. Okay, so I'm thinking that that's sort of the arrangement I would like, I guess. I'm not for sure in that. Now this is gonna get like kind of different than the example. It's gonna get a lot different. Like Lisa Dickinson would never do all this cramming everything on here <laughs> like I do. But hey. Okay, I think it's gonna go like that. I don't think it's gonna look too much like Mickey Mouse ears. Which, if they were like circles, that might be a, a problem. Um, I think that's about it. So I want to mat both of those. And I did use, I didn't even think about this, but this is off-white and that's white. I don't care. It's okay. Should it be matted, like, again? Probably, but... Eh. It's, it's fine. <laughs> okay, let's go to... I've got some six by six pads that I think are gonna work really well to mat these photos. And let's do maybe like an aqua blue for this big one. And then for the smaller one, I'm thinking like a tone of yellow. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know if that's gonna look good or not, but let's see what we've got. So here's not aqua, but I don't know. I don't think that looks awesome. Um, that would, it's actually kind of cute if it's this one. So I'm thinking that, yeah, that big picture will get like the big yellow color. Let's see if I get any other yellows here. I do have orange. I don't think I want orange. I don't want it that bright of a yellow. So I should have just picked that. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Let's 
Let's go with this one. This is Print Shop by Studio Calico. So you know who got me on the, um, this is a funny story. <laughs> he didn't really like push it, but Debbie Hodge's son Isaac is into doing Rubik's Cubes. And so he had like all sorts of different, we went to visit them. And, um, and I think I do have, I hope I do have the pictures from that here. I think I must have one more order. It just, I haven't picked up, you know. Oh, let's see. Um, cause it seems like I'm missing, missing New Hampshire and Maine in that little uh, conglomeration of pictures over there. And I thought I had everything, but I don't think I do. Oh, well. I can do, <laughs> it's not a big deal. I can still go forward in scrapbook. And yeah, I'm telling myself that. Okay, so I do, let's see, I kind of like this over us. Like the past is coming forward. And then this one, I want to fade into the background a little bit more. So maybe that's the one that gets the, that light blue color. Let's see. Yep, I think that works well. So I'm deviating a lot from the the sketch, and I think that's totally fine. I think it's really great to have a sketch to start with because even if you go like way off the rails with it, at least it got you started. Especially when you're having a hard time like I am. <laughs> and um, you're like, oh, I just don't know what to do, or I just don't really feel like not super motivated to scrapbook. I'm not not motivated to scrapbook. I just, I don't know. I guess we had so much fun on our trip, and then we got home, and I was just kind of like, I'm going to be lazy. <laughs> so we're not even, like, completely unpacked yet. Shameful. <laughs> um, yeah, so weird. Okay, so this is the arrangement that I'm thinking. So the sketch had them completely separate, but I'm going to kind of put them kind of overlapping a little, and I think that this will be, we're going to be using pop dots, and then we'll figure out a title and then we'll figure out some embellishments and then we can like photograph it and it will be finished. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna pause for a second just so this doesn't get too long. Okay, so I started adhering things while I was off camera and I got the first one down and then I kind of moved this one to the bottom to um, just so I could start playing with this one and you know what? I kind of like this one at the bottom. So I'm going to deviate again from the sketch and I'm going to separate the three photos that she had all together. So another deviation, which is, which is fine. It's really good to use, um, you know, you can do a sketch and follow the rules and, you know, do it exactly like the sketch or you can, wow, this is sticky. There's little dots in here. Ah, um, but, but you don't have, you know, you can choose to, it's just like cooking, you know, how much do you want to follow that recipe or not? Um, and I don't ever use a recipe. <laughs> but I guess um, at one point, no, I don't really think I ever did. Yeah, baking, for baking I do. But I don't like baking. Because you have to follow the rules or it's, else it doesn't turn out well. I love to make, um, you know, just dishes that I've seen. So if I wanted to make lasagna, um, which I wouldn't right now, probably, because I'm doing a 30-day vegan trial. Um, that's the other thing I've been up to. I've been learning about veganism. And um, I think I told you about that before. The other thing I've been totally immersed in is um, the Ancestry.com. I got my DNA results back. So I've been like researching all of my long lost cousins. I have just been like on all sorts of tangents. But that's what summer's for, right? Yeah, we'll say that. I already feel like um, the school year is 
coming like way too soon. Like it's um it's like I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> See it is summer. I'm not even sure what, it's Sunday. But I'm not sure what the date is, but I can already feel like I already feel like the school year is looming. You know, and it's not a good feeling. <laughs> um, we saw some friends yesterday when we went, uh, we took a boat ride and then we had a picnic on this little island and we saw some friends and we weren't planning to see them. We just ran into them and um, their kids are about the same age as our kids and so we started talking about where kids go to school because that's what you talk about when you're from Florida because <laughs> it's just, it's just different down here. It really is. It's just crazy. Um, okay, so, want it there, or do I want it here? I think there. <laughs> Let's just put that pick it and stick it philosophy to, philosophy to use. Okay. So what was I saying? Oh, yeah, we were talking about the school year coming, and it's just like, oh, I'm dreading it. Seriously. Um, and I really hope this next year is easier than last year. But you know what? I don't think it's going to be. I think it's just going to be just as hard. And so we're just, my husband and I kind of talked a little bit today about just getting in front of that monster, you know? So we're not playing catch up or kind of, oh, these are cute. Okay. So I just had some embellishments off to the side here. And one of them says, take me to my happy place. And that is a perfect little, these are basic gray and they're from card postal. I guess that's how you say that. They're called page flags. I got them for 99 cents at, um, where did I get them? I got them at Big Lots. No, not Big Lots. The other one. The other discounty thing. Um, oh, man. I don't, uh, <laughs> yeah, I can talk. It's great. Um, Tuesday morning. That's where I got them. I got them on Tuesday morning. Okay, so I need some more of that dimensional adhesive. I just put it away. I shouldn't have. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that says take me to my happy place and that's kind of what this um, page is about. Um, about how we feel. And, and it's, this is of Massachusetts, but my daughter said she really felt a huge connection to Massachusetts. And the other thing, okay, so the other thing with Ancestry and the DNA testing and all that, and this is like, so a long time ago I started writing a novel, and it was about mitochondrial DNA, you know, like memory through your mitochondrial DNA. <laughs> and there really is like, I really think that, because when a woman is born, okay, I'm off on a way tangent, sorry, but you have all the, the, if you're giving birth to a baby girl, then all of her eggs are already in her, right? And then, yeah. Um, okay, I don't really want that to point that way. Um, but, so this concept of like, like, like um, a DNA memory, like you could have memories of things from your ancestors that you never experienced. So, for example, like when you go to a place that, you know, your family has lived for hundreds of years, do you have, and I think that you do, some kind of like just genetic, like you have like a, a a connection to a place, even if you don't have a connection to that place. Does that make any sense? I think it does. <laughs> I just, I'm not uh, saying it very well. But you know, when you go to your your family's homeland, <laughs> you feel, 
connected to it. Like, on a deep, like, maybe you didn't even know you were from there. And then you find out later, you know, I think that you have this, like, genetic memory of places. So that's kind of my story here. <laughs> it's like I feel deeply connected to Maine and other places too, but especially Maine. And so when I was up there this past time, I was like, I can't even, like, I just, we had the best day and then when we were leaving, I was, I got so sentimental about it and I was just thinking, like, I can't believe I ever left. Like, what was I? But I, I remember what I was thinking. I mean, I've had my reasons. I wanted to go and, you know, everything you want to do when you're 19. You want to go, 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 or 18. And I did. And I, it was, I wouldn't do it different. But now I have a different perspective. And I think, like, oh, it would be so nice to bring my kids up here and... You know, stuff like that. So, let's see. Just trying to, I'm trying to embellish. Can you tell? Oh, how I love embellishing. I don't. I, I don't. There, I said it. It's okay. Okay, so I'm putting these arrows facing this way, and I wanted to kind of like make you look at the picture of my sister and I with our Nana, our little Nana, because we did have a big Nana. <laughs> oh, I wonder if she hated that, because she was kind of fat. Um, but <laughs> And this Nana was like really skinny. Ugh, whoever let us call them that? But the other one was older, so, yeah. I wonder if that bothered her. I hope it didn't. Okay, so I'm just going to put these arrows, like, going back is the... Kind of a theme, is a theme here. Not kind of a theme here, it is a theme here. So there's like a little <laughs> poorly laid out um, cluster. I don't really like the way that turned out. So oh, it's so fussy, right? Sometimes this stuff is. I was thinking about that, how much we fuss over this stuff. And I was thinking about, is it, what are we doing? <laughs> you know, why do we make such a big deal about this? I mean, because we want it to look pretty, right? But um, sometimes I kind of think we overanalyze, and I think that takes the fun away, and it's one of the things that makes me procrastinate. Yep. That perfectionism thing. I don't really have it too much, but I don't know. I guess I've been feeling like I haven't really been keeping up with the trends. You know, like usually I'm looking online to see what everybody else is doing. And um, not that I want to do exactly like they're doing, but yeah, I, I just, I like to look at the trends. But uh, I haven't been doing that over the last couple of months, so I don't know. <laughs> feel a little behind the times trendy wise okay so I have a little cluster of embellishments here one here I kind of think one needs to go here as well and then we're going to think about if we need a title and also journaling do we and so let's see if we can get this let's see okay these are like autumn kind of embellishments but I kind of think we work color wise and 
that one says Ad Autumn Adventures, which is not, it's not what I want, but, hmm. I gotta say, I don't mind this, this, um, it's not exactly a maple leaf, but it's a, it looks a little maple leaf-ish, but I don't think it really fits there. The fox is cute, but it's not, it's not my deal. This was a weekend adventure. Um, it was more than a weekend adventure. So I'm just trying to see if I can, I don't think I'm going to find anything. And also, it's a little bit hard to put anything underneath this because I didn't leave any space for it. So, note to self, you should do that. I do kind of like this little birdie, which is so goofy. <laughs> ah, that's pretty goofy, right? I kind of like it, though. I'm going to use it. I don't know. It doesn't make any sense. Um, I think it's cute because my Nana used to paint and she used to paint a lot of um, landscapes of Maine and she also, the Maine state bird is the chickadee and that looks a little bit like a chickadee. Oh, let's maybe name the, <laughs> let's name, let's use that in the title somehow. Like, oh chickadee. I don't know. I don't think anybody will get that. <laughs> like no one except me, which is maybe okay. All right, let's see. So anyways, I have, I didn't embellish that. I was going to, and then I didn't. Let's see if I can remedy that. I do have these little circles that I cut out a while ago. Oh, places we go. That would work, and it kind of works with this. It's almost like um, a like an army kind of a blue. It's not an army blue, but like a Confederate blue, which is <laughs> not um, really what I'm after. You know, but I think that's a. Isn't that a thing? Isn't that a Oh, I'm struggling here. Okay, so this is called Places We Go. I I like this. I just I'm having a little trouble figuring out the dimension or like how I want that to ugh. It just seems a little awkward. I kind of like it this way. Do you like it that way? I wish you could talk to me. Um, but I almost feel like it's too lonely right there, so let's see if we can get something else going on. Oh, this is kind of cute. Okay, so this is places we go, and then that's a geotag, but it really doesn't work. As cute as it would be, I don't think any of those work right there. <sighs> so, yeah. Point is, if you're struggling, just it's okay. You can just keep on going anyways. So, do I need anything there? Um, it would be nice, but if it's going to hinder the flow of my work, I'm going to say, let's keep going and not worry about that. So, I just want to write a couple of, I think the... Journaling on this page is going to actually be pretty sparse. And I am going to write chickadee. Chickadee. And I don't care if anybody gets that or not. Um, and then 
And Nana actually wrote down, so this was August 19, or that was 1980. Okay. Plus Nana. Plus Johnny. 1980. So that just shows what that was there. And. This says, take me to my happy place, and I'm just going to say, um, Allison and I felt such a strong connection to Maine, and I'm going to write Massachusetts, too, because she really did. Um, and that's when I feel like... I want to write more. I want to write actually a lot more on this page. I don't think I want to use this pen. I think what I want to do, I've done this a couple of times before where I've just done um, writing with a pencil. Is it the most archivally awesome thing to do? No, it's not, but it's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write in all of this white space and then I'll be right back and we'll probably Oh, maybe we'll do a title here, maybe here, maybe here, although I really feel like I need to leave some white space, but let's see what happens. Okay, I'm going to pause. Okay, so I'm back, and I did my journaling, and I actually ended up doing it um, with a ballpoint pen, which I don't think is archival either, but I like it, and it doesn't, it's not as, um bold as this, this, there, so there's just a little difference there. Um, I thought about doing it in pencil, and then I was like, oh, I'm going to do it in pen. Uh, it's just a little more permanent that way. So I'll read you what I wrote. Um, it is, it, is it possible that we have memory in our DNA? I think it sometimes, I think it is. Sometimes I feel such strong connections to places and only learn afterwards that I'm actually connected to that place. Sure, I knew growing, growing up that my family went far back in New England, Maine, and Massachusetts. But I didn't know growing up that I was also connected to St. Petersburg, Florida. My parents went on a vacation here when, I was, when my mom was pregnant with me. And many of my great-grandparents vacationed here, which I didn't know before. <laughs> I didn't know before I moved here. It was so bizarre. Anyways, um, when I saw an old and when I saw an old newspaper clipping about my grampy, which I just saw that recently, it was from the St. Petersburg Times from before I was born. I feel like my I feel like I was drawn to St. Pete, and I don't regret my bold choice at 18 to move to Florida and leave Maine behind. But I do have a very strong sense of nostalgia and pull now back to Maine and Massachusetts. And Allison and Mac feel it, too. Are we going to pack up and move back? No. Just in my daydreams. We'll stay here in Florida, but we're going to vacation more back in Maine, summer 2014. And so, I don't think I'm going to have a title. Um, I think I could, but I don't think I need one. And I also, you know, I hate to embellish, but I'm just going to put three little dots here <laughs> just to call it embellished. Let's see how we like that. Oh, can we use a little more? I don't think that color really works. Um, And, hmm, I think I'm going to call that done. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so that was long and painful for me, but I will um, photograph that, and that should be up on the Get It Scrapped blog, along with other um, scrapbookers who have also altered or used a sketch, but then made it their own. So this was the sketch. It went up and down, and it had the sunburst coming out with three photos. I flipped it on its side. I changed the orientation of the photos 
and I did keep the title about where she had the title um, but my journaling she had the journaling she kind of had all the pictures in one spot and then the journaling um, off to the side of that and then my journaling was all over the burst so there you go this has been Katie Scott my blog is called kiss and tell scrapbooking and I appreciate you watching thank you and thank you for the comments when you leave them I appreciate that too okay I'll talk to you later bye